We are leaving orbit today and do I have a great recommendation for you today. So if you're looking for a great New England Pale Ale and one that will surely make you look like a connoisseur, then join me on this tasting. My name is Eddie and I have tasted and sampled many beers from all over the world and it is my passion to help you find that perfect beer you're looking for. Whether you're looking to try something new or there is something very specific that you're looking for to pair with your food, I got your back. Welcome back, beer lovers. Thank you for spending the next few minutes with me. As I said in the intro, my name is Eddie, and on this channel, I taste and review all kinds of beers and give you my most honest opinion about them, as well as some ideas to pair them with your food, just like the one you're about to watch. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon down there so you're notified every time I release a new beer review video. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Let me know you like it. Now, what did I say today? I have a great New England Pale Ale, and if you've been watching, you know I'm kind of partial to the whole New England Pale Ale vibe. And here I'm bringing you from Bent Water Brewing in Massachusetts, suborbital New England Pale Ale. Now, I want to show you here, you may find this can. So, either one or the two, I kind of like this one with the lot more colorful, um, sticker, right? But it's the same thing, suborbital New England Pale Ale, so NEPA, not to be confused with New England IPA, although they are pretty close. And now, look what I have here, my trusty, trusty tulip glass, which is the glass I always recommend that you use when you're putting yourself a very nice New England Pale Ale, just like this one. And remember, having the, the right glass for a beer that you are tasting, it's always a great way to show that you're a beer connoisseur. So if you would like to get your own set of Beer Connoisseur TV glasses, check out the description of the video, check out the store, and see how you can get your own set of Beer Connoisseur TV glasses so you always look like a connoisseur. Now, where do we always start? Appearance, right? More importantly, the three C's of appearance, which are color, clarity, and carbonation. That is right. Well, let's start with the color. I have a pale yellow color here. Um, and now, clarity, come on, it's a hazy IPA. It's a hazy pale ale, right? So it's very, very cloudy, very, very hazy. As far as carbonation, lots of carbonation. Look at that huge head of foam. I had to slow down when I was pouring it. I still have about half the can because this is, by the way, a, uh, a pint can, which I love. But look at that. I still have about four full fingers there, almost three inches of head, and it's retaining it pretty well. Very nice off-white color head there. Very, very huge. And where do we go next? The aromas, right? So let me share with you what I am picking up here as far as the aromas. Wow! Definitely a lot of tangerine, orange, lots of tropical, tropical fruit. Yes, yeah, some, maybe some, even some mango and pineapple there. Wow! Yes! Just like, it smells refreshing. Wow, very, very, very nice fruit bowl aromas there. But the tangerine is definitely the first thing that comes to the nose and probably the more powerful one. So let me taste it now and let you know how I'm, what I'm picking up with my taste buds here. Oh. Yes, I was kind of thirsty, so, wow, I was waiting for that one. It's actually lighter, 
So let me explain to you. First of the first uh, tip of the tongue was bitter, kind of like slightly, you know, pale ale bitter, and then came the fruit, the fruit flavor. So I got that tangerine. I got, like I said, maybe some mango or pineapple there. Check this out. The end was grapefruity. So yeah, it ended up with that kind of like grapefruit bitterness just towards the very, very, very end, just a little bit there. Very refreshing, and I would call that probably like a light like a dry finish. Uh, so lighter than I expected from the appearance and the aromas, to be honest with you. And uh, this is what? You know, it's only 4.7 ABV alcohol by volume. So nice all day New England pale ale, if you ask me. Now that all comes important when we come to the next piece, which is the part that you come to me for, the part that makes you a connoisseur, right? The food pairings. Now, you know these IPAs are great to pair with very flavorful, flavorful foods. However, with the New England pale ales and kind of like the, the fruit IPAs, you have to take into account some of those flavors that are infused there with all the different hop characters. So the first thing I'm going to say, which is something I've recommended for other hazy IPAs, and this one being a New England pale ale, I'm going to stick with that also with this ceviche, but I'm going to make it a new in, a uh, lobster ceviche. So yes, if you find yourself a nice main lobster, you can make that into a nice ceviche. We just did that last weekend, this past weekend, and that ceviche and that beer was just wonderful. That was great. And now the ceviche was very good. It even had like avocado in it. It was perfect. Um, the second thing I'm going to recommend for you here, sticking with some of the, um, the seafood theme here, is going to be Asian citrus salmon. Okay, so Asian citrus salmon is going to be a nice recipe. If you make it, I like Alaskan salmon, being that we are in New England here today, maybe a, an Atlantic salmon is more your, your uh, cup of tea, go for it. But Asian citrus salmon, it's going to really go great here. Now, if you're looking for some meat, which I love meat, right? Some orange glazed pork chops. Yes, because like I said, there's that tangerine and a lot of fruit flavors in the beer. So yes, I think that's going to be a really good pairing also when you're like grilling those uh, orange glazed pork chops out there. That's going to go great. And as far as cheese, a mild, Cheddar cheese, not something that is too strong of a taste because the beer, like I said, it's a little light. It has a lot of fruity, car a lot of fruit character in it. Uh, so a cheese that maybe, I don't know, I would say a mild cheddar, something not, not aged more than 12 months. That would be something what I would recommend. Now, you know, you can always trust me to leave you a dessert pairing recipe, right? And suggestion. And today, I'm already, you know, thinking about that and I can't wait to do that one. So go ahead and check the description below, open that description. That's my gift to you, unlock the secret. Now that ends today's lesson. However, you know, I always like to ask you, have you had suborbital before? What are your thoughts? Have you paired with anything? Have you drank it solo? It's a nice all day New England pale ale to drink solo especially as they start, they start warming up, yes, you have no judgment from me. So let me know in the comments below, what are your thoughts? Now, I hope I have helped you increase your beer knowledge as we all continue on this journey of becoming beer connoisseurs. And I encourage you to be on the lookout over the next few days when I release my next beer review video. And until then, enjoy. Enjoy.